Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to a glue booking video. Except we're not really gonna be glue booking. Um, we're gonna be harvesting some images, but I did wanna share that I've been watching a lot of Nicole from Relax Cut Glue. She's got some fun projects over on her channel that she's doing, so make sure you check the link below. And so yeah, I was looking through a drawer for something and I found this. Can you believe it? I don't know if you're watching Nicole, but yeah. I found this <laughs> and this I had done back in 2017. Uh, I had joined a group on Facebook. I believe it was called Glue Book Pages, I think. I'm not sure. I'll try to find it and leave the link. And they had started or they had this like challenge thing, right? And so I started doing it. I only got about five in, but it was super fun to do. And these cards are about three by three. And so I put the directions on the left and then what I did on the right. And this is probably my favorite one. I just love it. So super cute, 86. <laughs> yeah, just using bits, using bits really. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. And then I, I didn't do it any longer. And then here's another one that I did where, of course, I went through this phase where I think every single thing has to have words on it. This was a, like a paint chip. That was fun. And then these are just little collages, right? And again, they're three by three. And they're just so cute. I really, I really had a lot of fun making them. And Nicole, because I've been watching Nicole, she's really inspired me to start making some more. And yes, if you're wondering, I still have my glue book. It's still a work in progress. Will always be a work in progress. But then I found this and I was like, squirrel. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to look through these magazines here for smaller pictures. And I'll show you what magazines these are in a minute. Another friend of mine, I think back when I was doing these, I was inspired to do these cards from a sweet friend, Allison Bromley. And she used to have a really great YouTube channel and she doesn't um, have her channel any longer, but we do stay in touch um, every once in a while. I pop a message or she pops a message just to say hello. And uh, yeah, so she was my original inspiration for these little tiny cards. And, and I just, I loved her artwork. So anyhow, so those are those. And then see, I have little templates that, I mean, these are what, three or four years old now? Three years old? Yeah. Um, and they're three by three, just uh, craft cardstock. And then in here, I have a bunch of little bits. I mean, a lot of it is um, stamps. But then I have little, let's see, I just saw one. Let's see, just like that, you know? These are all, oh, and a starfish, if you can see that. Like, just little images, right? So that's what we're gonna look for in these books here. And the books that I like to look for smaller images is uh, catalogs, right? And this one here happens to be a Pier 1. I mean, we've shopped at Pier 1 before, and um, sadly, they're going out of business, but if you shop there, you automatically get put on their mailing list and whatever. But these are really great um, magazines to get smaller images from. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is move this stuff and this thing, okay. And then another one is Signals Magazine, and you can go to signals.com and you can order a catalog from them, right? And we'll look through these together. Another one is Country Door and that's countrydoor.com. They have some cute items. What is this one here? This is Wind and Weather, okay? Wind and Weather. Another one, look at those cute little things, right? These are just adorable. And then Hirschner's, and this is a yarn, a yarn book, but they also have some other interesting, interesting um, pictures in them, okay? So, we're just gonna go through these real fast and have a little chit chat. And yeah, so I hope you're doing well. Right now I'm looking more for like these type of things, you know, like those, like little, just small pictures of things. These are all on a weird angle. So see, these are, these are great. Like, look at that wine glass. Okay. 
and these little succulents. I mean, they'd be, honestly, they'd be a bear to cut out, but you could do it, you know, you could do it. I do like this as well. Um, I, I like all of these, except that. I wouldn't cut that out. So we're just gonna go ahead and tear these pages out. Uh, this is at a weird angle, wouldn't use that. I might cut that out. I would probably cut that out. Might cut this out square. These, like I said, would be a bear. You could cut the candle out and the basket out. But again, they, they would fit, you know, these little things, obviously the wine glass wouldn't, but like these little things would go great on that. This little thing here, whatever it is, this little succulent thing right here would go great on there. The cup might, you might be able to just put that as like a background, so who knows. Okay, let's see what's on the back there. Yeah, nothing on the back there. Sorry if anything is super glary. Okay, not looking for words. Oh my gosh, look at those. That is adorable. And this is very cute. What a shame that this is not, like this part right here is not moved up a bit. <laughs> because I hope, I'm just checking to see if it's like super glary. And it is not, so that's good. But this, love that. Let's see, would that make the mark? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. I like that. Um, and I love these llamas. How adorable is that, right? And I mean, I guess technically I could cut around, like really not spit on the page, but like, you know, fussy cut it sort of around and just have that part take off these tassels. Okay, nothing on that side. So that stuff is super cute. These are at a weird angle, so I wouldn't do that. This cup is cute though, or just this little one. Yeah because I don't like that this cup is halfway brown. But let's see, here. that's cute right there. That would be cute. These baskets are at a weird angle, but that's super cute. So yeah, okay. So these here, I'm just gonna take a moment to just chop them off. I don't want that cactus, it's super cute, but it had something next to it. So, oh my gosh, that's adorable. All right. I think after I get off with you guys, I'm gonna go rest my bones. Um, out by the TV, because I'm not feeling good, I have to tell you. Uh, if you've been watching any of my recent videos, you know I have like a migraine for a week about and no fun, let me tell you what. Okay, I don't think I want anything else on here. Nothing else really is doing it for me. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I think that after I work in here, now see, I love that because I'm just, yeah, I'm just not feeling very good. I don't know what the deal is. I think I'm just worn out from not feeling good, you know what I mean? So, that stinks, hmm? I'm just looking on here to see if there's anything I just absolutely cannot live without, and it doesn't appear. I wish they had this little terrarium as a full picture because I do, I do like that. Hmm. There was something on here, oh, there it is, that little basket. Yeah, and again, weird angle. Oh, why do they do that? I mean, obviously they want it to look as appealing as it can, you know? That's kind of cute though. And I do like that. I do like this, if you can see that, yeah. And I love this basket here with the paintbrush and little sketch pad. That's super cute and that would go great on a little card like that. Oh, and that too, this little tiny thing. Yeah, okay, I'll save that page. All right, so that's fun. Those are fun little things. And again, sadly, Pier 1 is going out of business, which really stinks because they had just such cute stuff all the time. Anyway, um, okay, let's just quickly go through here and see. Now see these, I love these, but I would never fussy cut something like that out because that's just craziness, let me tell you. Now some of these, like look at how cute that is. 
the little, if it's not too glary, I don't know. I hope not. But that's really cute. That would fit right on here. That's cute. I don't know though if I take it. I know I was watching um, Nicole's video just the other day, like the most recent one. She had a harvesting thing and she doesn't like um, cutting from the covers because the covers are usually thicker than the inside of the book. So, I mean, some of these are really pretty, but I like more solid figures. Like these are cute. These little bunnies here. Oh, those are beautiful. You know what else I like about these pictures <laughs> is that they do not put, oh, look what I see here. A little pug puppy. Oh my gosh, how cute. Um, and that is for you, Nicole. But um, what I like about these is that, I love these bunnies. They're adorable. They are adorable. Let's see if they would even fit though. Just barely. That one would fit, the white one would fit. Mm. Oh well, I don't wanna lose this picture. Um, at any rate, <clears throat> what was I saying? I don't even know. Oh, um, yeah, I, I like, oh, that's what I was saying, okay. The thing that I like about a lot of these pictures as well is that there are no like words right over the top or, you know, like see if they have the little, the little letter designating where to look for, for, to see how much it is. It's not right smack on something. So I like that when magazines do that. These are really pretty wind things, but too, just too, too fussy for me, too fussy for me. I mean, no, I'll keep these magazines and I'll go through them again because like this is not too fussy and I might cut that out and put it on something bigger, you know? I mean, like if I was doing one of these cards just as an index card, maybe I would put that on there. That would be fun. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. I don't think that would fit, would it? It would. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. All right. I like it. Okay, let's see what's on this side. Although I do like that, but I have to say I really like the frog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, I like the froggy. Oh look, that's just so pretty. But that's hilarious, so I'm choosing that. All right, like I said, I'll go through this again at some point. Oh, look at the hippos, those are cute. Oh, these are so cute. These little like stone animals. Oh, I like that owl. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See, I love these like quirky birds too, but I'm not going to fussy cut that out. That's just craziness. That's crazy talk. Um, that's kind of cool. Just cutting out that the ball. Okay, if you want bigger animals, that's cute. A little toadstool. That, I like that. That would fit on there. These owls would fit on there. You would just have to put like a, I'm gonna tear that out and cut just this toadstool out and this out. And then I would put it like on a really bright background, I do believe. Let's see here. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. That's like Buddha frog. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. And then look at this. <laughs> it's called an enlightened amphibian. How hilarious. What's it really all about? Isn't that funny thinker, the thinker, but guess what? He's not posed correctly. If he's supposed to be the thinker. Yeah, he is, but he's not posed correctly. This elbow should be on this knee. I do believe if I'm correct. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all these Zen animals. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, that wouldn't fit on there too bad, but let's see what this one's called. Contemplating the hair and now. Oh my goodness, that is funny. Okay, I'm cutting this little Zen thing out. I can't cut the thinker out in good conscience because if he's not posed correctly, you know, do your research. I don't know though. I'm gonna have to look it up just to make sure that I'm right because I'm like that. 
but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Look, wouldn't that be beautiful on a back patio? Mm, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, let's get through this, Elizabeth. Let's just get through it. So, such cute things. I would never put any of these things in my yard, just saying, but, but they're cute. These are funny. And the, these look really nice, like just to cut out and put on like up my a journal page that I'm doing or, you know, something like that. They're just nice and uniform and straight at you. Like they're not on a weird angle, like on a wall or anything. So yeah, I, I will keep this magazine and go through it again. Um, just you know, for other purposes, other than what I'm looking for right now. Right now I'm looking for things that can go on these cards. So, not seeing too much. That's really pretty to put on, on a journal page. Let's see, oh, clock face, of course. Always like those. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I like those. I don't know if, I know the green one would fit, but not um, the other ones, but I could definitely cut those out and use them, you know, elsewhere. There's a little mermaid, so cute. Oh, these are cute. I don't know if I could fussy cut those though, to be completely honest with you. Those are cool if you like dragons and whatnot. Oh, look at that little wizard there. Oh, that's cute. These are cute. And again, this is, um, no, oh, this is wind and weather. So these are like yard ornaments and stuff. Cute, cute, cute. That would be pretty, like to put on an Easter page. This would be pretty to put in something. This would be a lot of cute things. This would be great as a border. Okay, that's cute. That's a cute magazine. All right, let's look at the, let's look at signals. I like signals, I think, I'm not sure. They have weird things, not weird things, but they just have a whole jumble of stuff. You know, you can get books, you can get clothing, you can get house decor, you can get a guy holding his nose, all sorts of fun stuff. Here's a little doggy quilt, that would be fun. Bracelets, kimonos, all kinds of stuff in here, all kinds of stuff. But I'm looking for small things. Um, that little pig is cute. I don't know. I'm not really into pigs, but he looks cute. He would be fun on a on something. I think I'm just gonna cut him out. And I am gonna fussy cut him off of that, whatever he's on. So, that's cute. Um, Cat tail. Let's see what else. Um, these are cute. <laughs> Those are cute. Here's like a, I don't know, like a fern head. Umbrellas. Poirot. Lots of different things. These are funny too. Bigfoot saw me, but no one believes him. These are like t-shirts, you know, they're cute just to cut out as little, you know, funny things to put in your journal. They're cute, they're cute. All right, um, that's cute. A little charm bracelet. <laughs> this is a cute magazine. This is a cute magazine. Those would be pretty to cut those out. Boy, oh boy, those would be teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these are a little, I don't know. I don't know. See, I would like this here. Oh, what a beautiful day, but it, I don't know. Like, I don't like the top part. I love this. <laughs> I wouldn't pay, um, sorry, but I'm not paying $80 for it. That's just insane, but it is cute. Um, yeah, they have a lot of cute things in here. It's quite pricey though, geez. Oh, that's cool there. Oh, I guess they call it the golden ratio. I forget the, the name that I call it. 
Oh my gosh, Orion's belt is a big waste of space. That's hilarious. Um, I forget, it's in Da Vinci. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, like I like these, like I cut these out, um, you know, just as funny little things, you know, to put in my journal. Okay, but we're not looking at that, Elizabeth. We're not looking at that. These are cute little animals. Yeah, this, I guess this book would be nice. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I would fussy cut her out though, because she has an E. She has an E on her. But I like that. A little shusher. Shush. She's shushing. I cut that out. Um, again, weird angle. I hate it when they put things at weird angles. That's cool to like cut that as a square. This is just my whole life story right here. I came, I saw, I forgot what I came for. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. These are hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to go through this for my journal. This would be pretty, like just as a background. Okay, and I like that fish thing. Like we looked like we had seen in, in one of the other ones. So I'm just gonna tear this page out and then I'll fussy cut that particular image out. Yeah, like I said, after I get off here, I think I'm just gonna go sit in my Mabel, which is my, my chair and yeah, just relax. I don't know what my problem is. I think, yeah, I think I'm just tired from, I'm just worn out from uh, my headache. That I had so but at least I mean good part is I don't have a headache anymore now I just feel like crap so <laughs> oh my gosh it's all good it's all good <laughs> I had my patients tested I'm negative <laughs> oh, oh my gosh oh my god that's hilarious okay all right I gotta just Oh, Lordy B. I got to tear that out because that's going to have to go on like a journaling page. That is, that is hilarious. Okay. I like these things too. Like, you know, the positivity things. If it's, maybe it's funny. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Those are cute, but too fussy. Too fussy for me. Way too fussy for me. That's interesting right there. Um... I think this is not, that's too, yeah, that's too big. But I might come back and cut her out for something else. I don't know. Ooh, I got dizzy there for a minute. Mm, that doesn't help matters either, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, could I complain anymore? Probably. All right. Okay, like these are, well, that talks about cancer, which, you know, I mean, I could actually cut that out because I, I do like what that says. This is all about cancer. Okay. All right. A subject, unfortunately, close to my heart. Um, I don't like any of these. Look at that. That's cute. I mean, I'm not a cat person, right? I am not a cat person. I'm not ashamed to say it, but I know of a cat person. So that's going in another pile. All right, um, what's that? Those are cute little clogs. Although I wouldn't wear them, but I mean, they're cute. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. It says, my promise to my children, for as long as I live, I will always be your parent first and your friend second. I will stalk you, flip out on you, lecture you, drive you insane, be your worst nightmare, and hunt you down like a bloodhound when I have to because I love you. When you understand that, I will know you have become a responsible adult. You will never find anyone else in your life who loves, prays, cares, and worries about you more than I do. And if you don't mutter under your breath, I hate you, at least once in your life, I'm not doing my job properly love that and I remember telling my kids this when they were growing up <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that brings tears to my eyes because my babies are all grown up. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, I like these. Um, okay, so I like this right here, even though it d won't fit on here, you know, but it would make a great back backdrop kind of thing, whatever. And I like these, what is that? Um, well, let's just look and see. It's hard to see, L. Ginkgo, that's what I thought they were. Okay, I don't need the whole thing. Oh my gosh, look at that shenanigator. <laughs> oh, I should send that to Brooke. That is hilarious. Yeah, so these would be like great, you know, like once once I design whatever collage I'm gonna design on here to go back through some of these things and cut, you know, shenanigator. Like, wouldn't that be funny? A shenanigator on this one right here. <laughs> on the Zen. The Zen Frog. Oh my gosh. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Um, I like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anybody want a... What is that? A friar? Oh, St. Francis in your garden. St. Francis in your garden. Those are really cute shorts. I bet my daughter would like those. But not for $90. Oh, it's a set of seven. Okay. Ooh, that scared me. Okay. Do we have time to go through? Maybe we'll go through this one. I've been on 26 minutes. Holy cannoli. All right. We'll just quickly, quickly, quickly go through here. Now, this is uh, Hirschner's. Okay. There's the spelling. You can go to their uh, website and it's Hirschner's.com. And you can order one of these. Now, I... Uh, crochet and stuff so that's why I get it but um but yeah they have like look at all these Christmas things in here Ooh, so much fun so much fun oh I love chevron blankets oh my gosh I have not crocheted folks in like forever okay let's get through the Christmas stuff um like these these would be nice just to put on a card you know a starry night right some of these would be really, really pretty. Um, and they're nice and square. Again, I do not like that they have the number in the bottom. But, I mean, it could be, you know, the reason they do that is so people like me don't come in here and cut them out and use them in my, in my book. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But I will be taking this peacock because... He will fit on there loverly, and I will just cut it out um, properly, you know. Oh, I like that. I like that. Uh, that llama's cute. Some of these things I suppose you could fussy cut out if you really wanted to. Um, hmm. I wish I could cross stitch. I mean, I really don't because I would never do it, but, but it looks so beautiful, you know. It looks so beautiful. Crochet, one of my favorite things. Oh, look at all that yarn. These, I mean, if they didn't have words on them, unfortunately, like, I guess I could cut these, like, these cake things out in strips, you know, and just use the, use it as a strip without, yeah. Because so many pretty colors, but they have the numbers, like, right on top of them. Which, I get it. I get it. I used to love hook latch. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm not sure I'd want a cow, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, you know? All right. Some of these, I, yeah. Here's more Christmas stuff. These would be really cute just to cut out, you know, for, or this Christmas tree right here. I'll have to remember this. That's adorable. That's adorable to cut out for Christmas fun fun okay well I guess there wasn't as much as I thought there would be in that one that's pretty right there it looks like stained glass okay and then the last one's town uh, country door I'm sorry country door these these have certain things too that are nice to uh, you know to fussy cut because they're smaller you know what I mean like these things that bird wouldn't fit on there but 
um, just things like this right here. Like I could try attempt hmm, to fussy cut that or a lamp maybe, right? Or this rooster with eggs. Again, I like in this magazine, I like that the letters are outside so I could actually fussy cut this wire basket out. That would be cute, right? Um, this is, or these little birds, those are cute. Clock face, that's cute. See, things like this that are angled on the wall weirdly, I don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, that would be a cute, like, pattern. Anyway, I'll, I will go through these. That's, that's cute. That's nice, that little clock there. That's cute. Yeah, I'll go through these again and look and see if there's, oh, look at that boat with pillows. Fun, fun, fun. That is cute. Um, so colorful. And look, this would be great just as a background, but I'm only looking for things that are this small. So that's cute, that little pillow. Um, oh, look at that, a little terrarium. I have another one of these somewhere. That snail is adorable. Yeah, there's some cute things in this one too. And again, this one is called Country Door. Is that right? Country Door, yes. Okay, so I think I'll leave you guys here. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I'm gonna go rest, rest my weary bones out in the living room and maybe fussy cut or maybe fall asleep. Who knows, who knows? That's cute right there to fussy cut that and put on a little card. That would be fun. So hopefully this is a project that I can actually work on and show you some progress on. So that'll be fun. Oh, I like that. I like that. To talk about a dust magnet though. I don't think I could have that at my house, but it looks beautiful. Anyway, so yes, again, thank you for sharing your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, check back and see what I've done. Talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.